Hello and welcome to a, another quick demonstration and run through of some of the features and functionalities of the HPE ArcSight ESM solution. Um, now today I'm actually going to talk about a, a little bit more around uh, using different mechanisms to detect uh, and identify unusual activity and how you can use that uh, to try and understand for example in this scenario if uh, there is malware or, or a worm type activity within your organization and also try to discuss and cover off some of the aspects around for example um, how you can use uh, an asset model uh, and with networks and zones and so on to try and understand and, and help prioritize where you want to be focusing your work. So what we have here is what we call a, a worm outbreak dashboard. It's just showing some generic information around a number of things. And some of this will, will not make sense at all as you're looking at it, which is OK. No, that's not a problem. The, the important thing to note here is it is actually real time. You can actually see it updating. I think you might have seen this some small updates going on here. Uh, I'll come back to that in a second. But it is operating in real time and it is updating what's going on. Uh, what's actually happening? Well, we can see and we, we can we can understand that there's been a number of what we consider to be worm infected systems. We can see there's some activity up here uh, and there is actually a bunch of notifications that's gone off in the background as well. Um, what's actually occurring? Well, what does this mean? Uh, so I can, I, I can just pick one of these, for example. Let's just double click that and understand. So uh, what's actually happened is we, we've seen, in this case, we've seen a, a worm outbreak detected. So that's our correlation. This is a correlation of a correlation. So it's actually cascading things together to escalate the uh, the relevance of what's happening. And that's the critical thing here. So this has been triggered by two particular uh, correlation events here. Uh, one that's indicating there's some sort of network sweep and another one that's based on uh, a number of activities uh, by port name in this example from uh, what we consider to be an attacker. So what does this show? Well, let me just dig into that a second. So let's look at the, the second one. So it's a yellow color. So it indicates it's a statistical correlation that's occurred so we can see we can see the data if we scroll down a little bit we'll dig into this a little bit more so we can see that it's to do with uh, port activity and we can see the information here we can see that it's a, it's a moving average that the the change the the, the delta is uh, 69 and more importantly we can see the percent change has occurred so we're seeing an 855 percent change in the volume of activity so that's massive. So we can understand that suddenly there is a, a workstation or a server that's now suddenly massively jumped up in a volume of using a particular port. So that's that's a that's a a, a, a clear indication that there's some an anomaly that's occurring. And so yes, this is the, a statistical baseline. It's understanding that it's increased and it's understanding that there is a massive change there. So therefore, this is anomalous activity. So there's my anomalous uh, matching capability there. We're also looking at we can see this correlation here that we can see it's a possible network sweep double click on there we can see there's a bunch load of, of events that have occurred we can see that uh, what's actually occurring here this is SSH, SSH uh, on port 22 there's my port activity and it's trying to log into different machines now this is quite interesting now so we can start to understand that there is some sort of sweep that's trying to do multiple logons uh, and it's a sudden increase in what's going on so that's actually what's occurring over here we can see that there's been some overall activity that's very low suddenly it's jumped up massively actually we can graph that as well to understand what's going on so let me just pop that out it doesn't mean a huge amount there because it's it's uh, very very uh, limited in views let me pop that out there uh, let's view this data in a bit more understanding let's put it into a, a, a round circular view wow now suddenly we can start to see some of this information the color the relevance and so on we can start to see that there is a number of things the red means an attacker the blue means it's some sort of attacker and target so uh, somehow uh, some data has come in we can see that it's using port 22 between all these devices here uh, it's trying massive network sweeps and then it's subsequently then communicating on and doing some some other massive network sweeps as well so we can see that there is very clearly a pattern building we can visualize that very simply and understand what's going on let me just pop that back in for the doc so that's really useful. It's a nice graphic to show, but what does it mean to my, my organization? And this is where suddenly this asset network model becomes extremely useful. So let me pop that out and let's let's have a closer look at this for a second. The important thing here is now, now we can see and understand what the relevance of this data is based on my network structure and my uh, naming convention that I've used. So we can see that there is some sort of attacker on the outside. Well, that, that's where the original infection and, and, and is coming from. We can see this is based on 
what we call zone. So we can see that it's using port 22, where there has been some sort of attack here on port 135. So it's Windows networking somehow. Uh, it's attacked our corporate network. Uh, it's then transitioned through our DMZ network, and uh, it's going through different DMZs now onto corporate. Remember, blue indicates that it's a, both what we call an attacker and a target. So the original attacker was over here. It's now going through separate sections, and it's trying to propagate. The size indicates the, the, the intensity that's being involved here as well. So, so we've seen it relatively small, and now it's big, beginning to increase in size. Now it's very large, and it's now starting to transition across different networks. White indicates that it's just a target, which means it isn't actually expressing any particular activity based on uh, being a, a, an attacker itself. So very quickly, I can identify and go, oh, hang on a minute, where, which zones, which parts of my network have been hit? Well, actually, I can very quickly identify that and I can understand it in real time. Where are the parts of my network that haven't been hit? And where do I need to start focusing my attention to try and stop this spreading any further? So in this case, I need to be focusing on my New York DMZ to, to start putting the block in. So the system is guiding and helping me understand what's actually going on and helping me trying to target my activities rather than dealing in investigation. Now I can start getting ahead of the problem and stop it from getting any further. So this is just a very quick indication of some of the capabilities around visualization, around understanding about my network infrastructure and asset and network model, and understanding how we can do some very simple mapping using, for example, in this scenario, anomalies and baselines and statistics, as well as understanding about we're matching that together with some very simple correlation to understand that this is a worm that's spreading through my organization and triggering and alerting accordingly. So it, it shows a very, set of, a very clever set of sophisticated tools to indicate how we can identify that kind of activity. So thank you very much for your time.